Let's move on down. What do we got? Mm. I know there was something. Um, oh, there it is. Select level. Wow. Okay, yeah. Definitely seems the... definitely gets the job done. And I've literally said I've I've done stuff like this before, but yeah. this is one of those things where this this will eventually cause a, a panic because keep in mind what this is saying <laughs> is get my child's child's game object and set it active. So that is an example of law of Demeter in Unity terms. Yeah. Which is interesting because, I mean, you're calling these methods on, so you, you call transform, then you, you call this method that has a return, and then based on that return, you call another method on that, and then you get the game object, and then you call another method on that game object, set active true. Definitely, look, I'm sure, I mean, it's, look, the game runs great, and it seems to solve the problem, but um, I would even say for a product of your scale, I don't know. It might seems fine, like it yeah. might be fine. Probably the only thing I, I would say is that if if you were getting something by index or by name, you can also say get child and then have a string game object name. Mm -hmm. Or well, actually find, isn't it? It's not find, then string game object name. Um, they're fine. You can use either of those functions. But I would avoid using them in cases that aren't prefabs. If they're a prefab, you're sort of locked in the mm. hierarchy structure for that object. If you're using yeah. it in a manager like this, somebody might just, you know, copy this script, or you might give it to somebody and say, here, use this. And they'll say, oh, I don't need these other things underneath it, and I'll delete it. And all of a sudden, this code breaks. So you either should only really use this if it's going to be in a prefab, or do your null checks. Ensure the object exists when and where you expect it. Yeah. So um, again, seems to work. And from the going back to the first question that was asked, you know, have you ever looked back at a project that uh, needed refactoring? I'm sure Sean's watching this, thinking like, "Ooh, maybe I should refactor this." But on the same note, it, it does the job. And um, since his project, I don't foresee it being uh, being iterated on past what he's already created. You could argue that this is fine. However, uh, we're trying to educate here, and this breaks a couple rules, one being the law of Demeter. There's probably a better way to encapsulate this or just inject it, inject this thing into the yeah. class. You know, you already have seven uh, serialized fields. Why not add one? Exactly, yeah. You've <laughs> you got a lot of well, dependencies already. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well just add one for that. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is going to cause you a lot of headaches, you know, six months down the line when you're like, well, let me go add another level. And maybe you switch things around.